my name is nitin parte and i am a senior trainer with athyan quality education foundation um before this i was heading some schools as a director and i have been in the field of education for the last 25 years as a teacher of economics and history high level english as well as principal uh, and before that for 14 years i was a journalist i was part of uh, large newspaper chains in the country such as the indian express and the times of india so in ninth standard i would say that um, i knew more about what i did not want to do in life rather than what i wanted to do in life so my main um, uncertainty was what is it that i am going to choose as my career okay i was interested in some subjects but i did not have any idea about what i wanted to become in life in 11th standard i chose to do um, english and psychology and economics um english because i love the language i always like to read i like to read uh, write and so that choice came very easily um and then i wanted to pursue the arts and hence i think i also did psychology and economics so my main area of focus was english language and then i also did the other subjects that i needed to do Uh, along with that I think you need to by the time you come to 9th and 10th standard you have some idea about what is it that maybe you don't know what you want to do in life but you know which subjects are your strengths which subjects are your weaknesses so i think you should know that before you choose your um streams for for the future also check out what your interests are also have a general idea of what you just like me what is it that you do not want to do in your life and what is it that you want to do in your life one of the things was that i think i was a good communicator and i had very strong uh, language skills so that helped me the other thing that led me to a choice of a career in media is that i was always very curious about what was going on around in the world so for instance i was uh, concerned about the state of the poor people in the city of mumbai and hence i wanted to find out something more about it wanted to do something about it So I think that curiosity and that interest and the strength in language are the things that contributed me towards deciding this career. After my 12th standard I decided to do focus on doing economics when I did my um, undergrad studies that is when I did my BA I did uh, economics uh, that further improved my um, knowledge about the whole world around me then i followed it up with my new interest which was history both the subjects were intense about uh, with reading and with the language uh, and also it uh, was about satisfying my curiosity about what is happening just now in the world and what had happened in the past so that was uh, those were the subjects that i had chosen when i was doing my graduation as well as my post graduation as a journalist uh, or a reporter the day is uh, very often determined by what is happening around you so it is not like going to any other office from 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock so if some event takes place so you have reached your office at 12 o'clock in the morning and then you start doing the routine work you start reading the newspaper you start correcting some mistakes that are there in reports then you have a meeting with the editor and then you start planning on you know what is it that needs to be covered there are thousands of events happening all over the world and in the country so you have to decide what is it that you want to cover in that particular day some small events some big events but 
as a journalist life hardly ever proceeds as planned because suppose suddenly some but he decides to hold big person decides sports person decides to hold a sports conference and a press conference and announce that he is going to retire from further play or suppose there is a building which comes crashing down okay you can't plan for that nobody can plan for a riot nobody can plan for accidents so your work timings are sometimes very crazy you could go to office at 12 in the afternoon and you could be there till 2 in the morning so typically what a day looks like i mean this doesn't happen all the time but in this particular profession it tends to happen more often than in any other profession of course one obvious skill that you need for this job as a media person as a journalist is that you need to have good communication skills and it is not just good communication skills you also need to be able to uh, write well so your writing skills have to be advanced if you are a journalist you just can't go and report on some come back see some report some event and come back and report you need to go deeply into it and for that you need to develop your research skills and apart from that i think a newspaper comes out every day it is not a weekly affair it is not a monthly affair since it comes out every day you need to have excellent time management skills yeah so i have been speaking only about you know what a reporter does and all that but there are a whole load of things that you can do as a part of a career in media so in media you can become a, like for instance you could become a reporter which is what i'm talking about or you can become an editor or if you are a television journalist then you can go ahead and become a news reader or you can become a cameraman you can become a lights person or also within the media you can have things like uh, advertising it's a big part of newspapers and other television channels there is no news without advertising if there is no advertising there is no news so advertising has become a really important part of media and now that internet has become so important you can also become a content writer or a news creator on the internet just sitting at home the most uh, important thing uh, that challenge that comes up in this career is that you do not know what is going to happen from day to day so you just need to be ready for any kind of eventuality okay the other big challenge is that when you are a young reporter nobody wants to talk to you if you go for information they will just tell you to go away so that is a big challenge and you have to just keep pursuing that thing you have to wait outside a minister's office or even a policeman's office or an inspector's office and they will after you have waited for 2 hours they will tell you to go away so you know those are some kind of a challenges when you are beginning out in the profession also you may think something is important you are excited about a story and you want to write about it but your editor tells you that that's a useless story you can't do it so these are some of the kind of challenges that you tend to face as a newspaper person yeah. uh what i like most about my career is the opportunity to um make a difference in the society around me i was a journalist in this crowded city of mumbai which had any number of problems in rain there was flooding and in summer there was heat there was disease there were disasters and the people who suffered most were the people who were poor and who lived in uh, slum areas the largest slum in asia tharavi is located in mumbai so if there is a pandemic for example okay these are the people who suffer the most and so i what i got involved in is um it excited me that you should expose the condition that these people are living in 
okay so that there could be some improvement in their lives so this is what excited me as i went along from being a reporter to a city editor to a news editor to also becoming later on a bureau chief for western india then my scope for work also increased and then i could operate at making a difference at a state level national level and i could also travel all over the world and get an international perspective on news okay i think uh, it doesn't matter what career it may be it may be journalism or it may be that you want to become a sports person you want to become a dancer uh, you want to become a businessman but i think it is most important to know what is it that you want to do also what you need to do is that you always need to have a plan b you are making a choice as early as your 10th standard or 12th standard and you want to become a doctor or you want to become an engineer and you want to become a nurse but that doesn't work out sometimes so you should always have a plan b so in selecting your courses in selecting the stream that you study you should be careful about what is it that you are doing because if you choose one option many options become close to you so that is one thing the second important thing is know your interests okay so sometimes you will go ahead and start doing one profession if you have chosen you you ask around and you will find many many people who are in professions that they never wanted to be but they got a job in that profession so they took it so they took it but right now with this program that we are conducting when you become aware of various careers you will know that you have got many many more options so look at those options the third thing is that make your decision wisely don't do things because your friends are doing it don't do your things only because your parents want you to do don't do things because you get more money in that profession what is really important is you have to sustain this profession throughout your life and for that it is really important that you make a very wise decision that will sustain you for the rest of your working life